say my name until the city burns and the stars fade away and your scars don't hurt stay with me until the last man falls i don't need them anyway when i'm with you i have it all oh, oh i'll never let you slip away oh, oh, oh and you don't have so to guys, be afraid so guys welcome back to my channel i'm tammy or being mrs frazier or welcome if you are new if you are new go ahead and hit that red subscribe button i am so excited that you decided to click on my video today um we have a lot to do as you saw the bedroom is a disaster. Uh, basically, when I cleaned the bathroom out, um, when I've cleaned other areas, everything just kind of came into the bathroom. So we need to get this room picked back up, put back together. I picked up an Ikea organizer. I think it's Cal Calyx or Calax or something to that effect. Um, I will make sure that I link everything down in the description for you guys. Also, my hanger or shelf in the closet fell. Hence the pile of clothes, but Fred has fixed that so we can go ahead and get those hung back up. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and jump into this and get started. And you don't have to be afraid. I will hold you till the sun comes crashing. Alrighty guys, we're gonna go ahead and start and get this unit put together. Again, this is the eight cube calyx, I think it's called. Um, from Ikea. We did get the one in black when we went to Ikea. Uh, Ikea is about an hour, hour and a half away from us. And when we originally planned on going up there, they had the pieces of the white one that I wanted. Um, however, by the time we got to it, it was no longer available. Uh, so we picked up the black. But that's okay because actually I end up, I really like how the black ended up or how it turned out it looks very nice in the closet and i'm actually pretty happy with it so anyway we're gonna go ahead and get this put together this thing is super easy to put together and actually i feel like it was a much better quality than like the target or the walmart one i'm yours until the end of time And yes, technically you should have a partner according to the instructions, uh, however, everybody was gone, school, work, you know, uh, so I just went ahead and did it myself. And quite honestly, this thing is not as heavy as it looks, it's actually pretty light. Um, I was able to carry it into the bedroom and everything by myself, so super easy. Um, we also picked up the drawer and cupboard inserts for it which again I'm super easy to install uh, these ones are the drawers that I'm showing you now Like I've said in previous videos, uh, Florida just doesn't have the storage. I don't know if that's all houses or just like the older houses, uh, but they just don't have the storage that we had back in the Midwest, especially without basements and stuff like that. So we've had to get pretty creative with creating uh, storage solutions in our home. And this is one of them. Um, Ikea has really come in clutch with the storage situations. So if you are looking for more storage solutions for your home, definitely check out IKEA because not only is it affordable, I mean, it kind of stinks having to put everything together, but it's super easy, super affordable, and everything turns out really great. And I really appreciate the quality of IKEA furniture as well. Hard to just stay cool. Saying we're just friends, but thinking you're my man. And baby, if you knew, hey, I say I'm doing all right, I'm doing just fine, but I'm scattered, scattered, and I cry when you're not around because it matters, matters. Dreaming of your kisses in the nighttime, knowing what I'm missing, but I feel like. So 
I'm super excited. We finally have an update on the kitchen. We get countertops installed on Friday. I'm so excited to have my kitchen finally put back together, at least enough that we can cook because I'm so tired of freezer meals and eating out. So not only is that getting expensive, but I just really am craving just a good home cooked meal. But anyway, so as you can see here, <laughs> we are coming into a problem. This is when I noticed that there's an issue. I, before we bought this, I measured and measured again. Fred measured to make sure everything was correct. It should fit. It was about an inch smaller than the space we provided or we had available. However, we did not take into account baseboards. As you can see, I'm quite literally trying to figure out every which way to fit this thing in here. I took the side panel off and everything. Like, I was getting so incredibly frustrated. problem is the baseboards all the way around however it seems if I can just push it in like right here and back then I can get it to fit um I did get one baseboard off but I am struggling getting this off whoever put this tile floor in grouted the tile right up to the baseboards instead of like you know removing the baseboards putting the tile down and then putting them back yeah so <laughs> Um, that's fun. Like I said, I got the one out. I'm just trying to figure out how to get this one out. I've been working at it and I just can't get it. I don't want to break it because I would like to, you know, after I get the shelf put in here, um, I would like to have my husband like cut it so we can put it right back after we put the shelf in and then the shelf will just become a permanent fixture. So, your girl's a hot mess. <laughs> it is hot in this closet. I don't know if the air just doesn't circulate in here, so it's like super hot. But I'm trying to get it out. I don't know. Like, look, look at this board. See, you can tell that they grouted all the way up. You can see where the line is at. I swear. The the more things that we find in this house, the more I'm like, oops, the more I'm like, oh my gosh, I I don't even know. <laughs> So anyway, I'm, I need to try to get that out. I don't know if I have time. I do need to go pick up the kids here in a little bit. So I might just leave that um, for my husband. Hello guys, we are back. It is a different day. <laughs> um, anyway, I want to show you what we got done in the closet here. So we ended up getting this baseboard about out. Um, Fred actually got it out. It still needs cut, but right now our garage is a disaster. So Fred cannot get to the saw at the moment. But anyway, um, so we just need to trim that down and put that back. But Fred was able to get that one out and I was able to get this one out. And we had to take off the board here. So I'm definitely going to have to do some touch up painting. Um, but that's okay because... We were able to get it in. Yay! <laughs> um, this is not where I wanted it. I actually wanted it on this side, but it just wasn't going to go there. So it works here. Um, realistically, it was just kind of some unused space. And so now I have a space for my crafts. So that's basically what this is for. Um, and then also some of my boots because the other IKEA shelving that we have for shoes um if you don't know what that is definitely go check out my living room makeover but um yeah so boots do not fit in those so i also wanted somewhere to put my boots because i also have like my uggs and other shoes as well so we're gonna get those in there and then i'm gonna 
put the other drawer in and I do have some baskets for the bottoms. Um, I'm also going to get, Ikea also has like door fronts. They didn't have them at the Jacksonville Ikea. So we need to go, to, well, I'm going to have Fred swing by the Orlando Ikea today and pick them up for me so we can get the doors on. I'm just going to put basically another set of drawers here and then a door here and a door here and then I'm going to need to align the basket with or the bottom with baskets to help organize so I can get all my crafts and stuff like that in there. Um, so I also need to get my clothes hung back up in here and yeah but we also, I bought new sheets for the bed. Um, I picked these up at Kohl's, so I need to get these washed, get everything cleaned up in here. You guys, it's a legit mess. Um, look at all the dust. Like, the cats have obviously walked over here. <laughs> um, that is all dust from the kitchen being renovated. So, uh, yeah, we need to get that all taken. Um, and then this mess situation taken care of. We have a lot to get done. The kids have an early out today, so we need to get uh, moving. Let's go. So these are the IKEA baskets. They actually have a very wide variety of baskets available to fit their cube systems. Uh, these are actually the new ones. I think they were $20, $19.99, something like that, a piece, um, which kind of is a little bit hefty if you think about it, just like for a basket, I think. Um, maybe not. Maybe not so much. Uh, baskets are kind of actually kind of pricey. <laughs> uh, but anyway, these are actually definitely worth the price in my opinion. They are very, very, very sturdy, solid baskets. Um, as you can see here, they basically have a four point bracket uh, or a two point bracket for each of the four corners that you just screw on. They pre-drilled the holes, just screw it on, put it together, put the little bottom piece in and you have a good solid basket. So. The other nice thing about these that I like, um, Ikea went ahead and already put little like felt pads on the bottom of them, so they go right in, they don't scratch the furniture, which is super nice. And again, they fit perfectly. Now it's time to get these clothes put back and hung back up. This, the closet hanger, I guess, <laughs> uh, is like a wire shelving situation. And quite honestly, I just, I don't think they're strong enough for my clothes because uh, they definitely look like they're going to fall again. However, they have yet to do so. So maybe Fred got it in there better than the previous homeowner. I don't know. Um, but we got it so anyway we're gonna go ahead and get everything hung back up and hung back in the closet and then I need to go through and organize them I I don't know if you guys have been around for a while you, you've noticed that I like to keep them kind of color-coded um, I did that at our old house as well I don't know why I just it makes sense to me <laughs> it makes me happy however I saw the other day who was it that I was watching on YouTube was it our crazy life I think uh, I'm not 100% sure on that but anyway I was watching her 
um, organized her closet and she actually organized not only did she organize it by color like I do she also then went through with those colors and organized them from basically long sleeves to tank tops and I was like that is a brilliant so that way I'm not digging through everything trying to find a tank top you know what I mean you catch my drift so I went ahead and went through um, and not only organized by color, but then I went through and organized by like long sleeves, short sleeves, and then tanks. Okay, so I'm stunning, you love it. Come on, give me something. I know that you want it. Come on, give me something. The night is young, and so are we. So maybe you should leave with me. The night is young, and so are we. So I really, again, love the way that turned out. I think total project cost was just under $200, which in my opinion, I don't feel like that is a terrible cost for something that one, helps with storage, and two, is actually really great quality. Baby, take me Alrighty, it is time to get this dresser cleared off uh, from the collection of items. <laughs> um, a lot of these came out of the bathroom when I cleaned out that and redid that in, I think it was last week's video, you guys saw that. So anyway, we are just going to get it all cleaned up and cleared off. Um, you'll notice I'm putting it all into this big old box here. That is because that is our linen closet box. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but just on the outside of our bedroom door there, there is a closet and we are currently using it as a pantry until we can get the kitchen finished and then all the food storage is going to come out of there, go into the kitchen, and then we're going to turn that into a linen closet so I can put my vacuums, mops, um, all the bathroom storage, you know, all the extra soaps, um, you know, all the stuff that normally you would keep in a linen closet in a bathroom well we don't have access to that so eventually that'll get turned into that um let me know down in the comments if you are interested in seeing that video so i will definitely try to do so if there are interests i will definitely try to film it for you guys so anyway another problem here i i just noticed the vacuum um i need to know vacuums guys let me know down in the comments your favorite vacuum I typically really love sharks, but these last two shark vacuums, although they worked great for like the first year or two, it's like then they are junk. Um, this one just isn't working very well. I actually wanted to shampoo the carpet or the rug for you guys as well because it definitely needs it. And the vacuum just was not working great. So anyway, recommend, let me know your favorite vacuums. Time every day goes by so fast And every moment counts, baby, I don't want to miss a thing We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Or hang out in hotel bars, driving somewhere in your car We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Under the stars The dust buildup is real, <laughs> you guys. This is literally all from the kitchen renovation. And we had to cut up some tiles to put down the island in the kitchen and the dust went everywhere because our bedroom is right by the kitchen. Um, I don't know, we covered the stuff in the kitchen. It still got dusty, but it's literally everywhere. It went all over in the living room which you guys will see here i think in next week's video um is another like clean with me it's like back to school 
getting it all done. So definitely make sure you are subscribed so you can come back and check that video out for some fun extra motivation. But anyway, I, yeah, I just need to get this dust cleaned up. As you can see, the cats like walked all over in the little footprints. Um, yeah, it was literally everywhere. And if it was on the wood, I can't even imagine like what was on our bedding and stuff like that. So also it's all over the rug. This rug, you guys, we should have never put the white rug down yet until we were completely done. Um, that's my bad because I wanted to get it done and get it finished and get something, you know, completed. But, uh, you can even see it on the desk. Look at the desk. Oh my gosh. That dust was terrible. It just went everywhere. <laughs> We can sleep under the stars or hang out in hotel bars driving somewhere in your car We can sleep under the stars. We can sleep under the stars Baby, while we're young go ahead and show you guys a close-up of the floors the collection of hair dust dirt everything that these floors have collected because sometimes it's really hard to see when the camera is not right down on it so I just wanted to show you guys there is a ton of dirt um, litter uh, just everything collected on this on these floors so I'm gonna go ahead and get it all swept up again I I would typically use my vacuum, but that vacuum, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is, guys. It just wasn't working. So I'm going to go ahead, old-fashioned, if you will, and get it all swept up. You're going to see here in just a second, I'm going to give you guys a closer look at it, of how much buildup was on the floors. It's actually really gross. This is the Shark Rocket. I think I've had it for almost three years now. I've changed the filters. I don't know. It just it gets clogged. The hair gets wrapped around the rollers. It It's just a hot mess. You'll see that I'm like going over spots multiple, multiple times just trying to get everything up and it it just isn't working. I will say though, in a new vacuum, I need something that, like you saw, goes under the bed like that. Um, you can basically almost lay this vacuum flat and it's still, like, well, it, it used to still vacuum. <laughs> uh, but anyway, see, see me looking at it like, what the heck is going on? But anyway, so definitely leave all your vacuum recommendations down in the comments for me, guys. Um, anyway, up next, we're going to go ahead and get these clean sheets put on. I did get everything washed. Um, I bought two sets of sheets so I can get rid of our old ones. After a couple years, I just, I think sheets need to be replaced. It just, you know, they just get kind of tore up. They, I don't know. I just, they, sheets just don't last very long in my opinion so anyway it was definitely time to buy some new ones it's been a couple years and I figured why not start now so I like I said I did pick up these sheets at I or Ikea I did not get them at Ikea I picked them up at Kohl's and they are really soft really cozy comfortable sheets um, really nice quality for the price they weren't terribly expensive I will try to remember to link them down below though uh, if you guys are interested.
Again, back to more storage solutions. I have been on the hunt, I guess if you will, on ways to make my little desk office area <laughs> um, a little more user friendly. So I found this little like file folder um, at Home Goods. I think it was like $24, $25. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put together this printer shelf. Um, I actually found this on, on Amazon, so it wasn't terribly expensive, um, and it was super easy to put together. It's, I don't know if you guys have ever put together those like metal wire shelves. It was pretty much the same concept as you can see here. So super easy to put together, and it was, it gave me the ability to take my printer off the desk, even though I originally purchased the desk to be able to put my printer and computer side by side on top of it uh, but I needed somewhere to put my Cricut and so the printer needed to be moved and there's not really a possibility to put it in the closet so I wanted to find a way to use floor space so this is the floor space it also gives me a shelf so once I find my boxes with all my paper and all that in there I can put my paper on the shelf as well so again, just more simple, small space storage solutions going on here. This is the Bissell Crosswave. It is a wet vac. Um, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen me use this before in a couple of my other videos. It is amazing. Technically, you can use it on rugs. However, our rug here is not an actual rug. It's a carpet remnant. So the pile is a little bit too thick for the Crosswave. Uh, however, I absolutely love my Crosswave for the tile honestly it just makes it so simple I did you know obviously sweep but I wanted to be able to make sure that I did get any extra little tidbits so I pulled out the cross wave instead of my regular mop and did a quick once over you guys this thing picked up some nasty stuff <laughs> look at that oh so gross but Anyway guys, it is that time in the video. I'm going to go ahead and share a little bit of the before just to give you guys a reminder of what a disaster it was and then on to the finished product. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Go ahead and give it a big thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already and we will see you in the next one. Bye guys.